John Watson's contract continues to hover over the NFL, specifically other quarterbacks looking for contracts. Five years, fully guaranteed, $230 million. If you're Kyler Murray of the Cardinals or Lamar Jackson of the Ravens, you should be saying, I need the same thing. I'm not in any trouble. And I'm a pretty good player, especially Jackson, the 2019 NFL MVP, and Kyler Murray, who has been spectacular at times. Now, it's a tougher assessment and evaluation of Murray because he doesn't really fit the normal mold. He's not very tall. He relies a lot on his ability to run. You take that away, and he seems even smaller than he is. But he and the Cardinals trying to work out a deal, and the Ravens and Jackson trying to do the same. Remember, camps are opening soon, and I think there's a possibility one or both guys could end up with the hold-in. That's become popular since the 2020 CBA, which made it harder – made it impossible, frankly, for veteran players to hold out and have their fines later waived by the team. That's been, or had been, a very common practice. Player holds out, trying to get a better contract, gets fined $30,000, $40,000 a day. I think it's up to fifty dollars now. And then when the player shows up, it's all over and done. And don't tell anybody, but we're not going to collect your fines. Now you have to for veteran players, for anyone on their second contract or beyond. So We see hold-ins. We saw T.J. Watt do it last year in Pittsburgh, and it worked. He showed up, didn't practice, got his contract, and tied the single-season sack record. So I could see Murray or Jackson doing that. I've already talked about Murray in that capacity. I could see Jackson doing it as well. Either way, the clock is ticking. And I think with Murray specifically, wrote about this earlier today at PFT, the fact that we haven't heard anything, the fact that there hasn't been any outburst on a negative front or anything that would suggest they were making progress. I think they just decided we're going to keep this quiet. We're going to work together. We're going to try to get this done before July 26th when the veterans report for Arizona Cardinals training camp. And then we'll see whether or not Murray's there, whether he has a new deal or whether he ends up being a hold in instead of a hold out where he's present, but he's just not going to practice. He's not going to set foot on a field until he gets his contract. And that makes see for non quarterbacks, the real deadline's week one. For quarterback, though, you kind of want him to practice. I think the real deadline is start a training camp to get this thing done. We'll see if the Cardinals and Murray can get it done. We'll see if the Ravens and Jackson can get it done. And if they end up with five years fully guaranteed the same way Watson did. See, teams will want to say that the Watson deal was an aberration. And one way to prove it's an aberration is in the subsequent deals to use a different structure where there isn't that five-year full guarantee. And of all the starting quarterbacks in the NFL, whose teams shouldn't want five years fully guaranteed, it would be the Cardinals with Murray and the Ravens with Jackson. Because can you really project five years out that this guy definitely is going to continue to be our quarterback? For a lot of quarterbacks, yeah, you can feel pretty confident about that. Murray gets banged up just enough, loses a step or two. All of a sudden, he's not the guy, but you're paying him for five full years. Lamar Jackson, an accumulation of the many hits he's taken, gets to a point where he's just not the same guy, kind of like Cam Newton. All the hits he took, he seemed indestructible. He got to a point where he just wasn't the same guy anymore. So very interesting dynamic and highly scrutinized contracts. We will see if and when Murray and Jackson do their deals. And that Watson contract, a big factor. Will it be an aberration? It will be the start of a trend for NFL contracts. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.